My name is Mike Roselli from Jalopnik. I've never driven on track before. I'm at a two-day racing school. Come along for the ride. No, I mean really. Come along for the ride. There are dozens of different schools to choose from depending on your location, experience, and budget. The Lucas Oil School of Racing, established just this year, claims to offer the most amount of track time while taking up the least amount of your time, all while costing the least amount of money. So that's why I'm here at New Jersey Motorsports Park, attempting to dress like a Smurf to show you what's actually included. A helmet. And you don't have to worry about any sort of smells because they're basically brand new. Are these helmets like all new? Yeah. A race suit. While these aren't as fresh as the helmets, they are thankfully laundered after every event and if you're wondering why I'm going on about the cleanliness of the race gear you clearly have not worn some on a hundred degree day oh my god it's hot in what is basically a blacktop desert a car which technical director David Metcalf will now explain so they're brand new cars built to brand new specifications 2.0 liter Mazda MZR elite engines producing about 140 horsepower full pushrod suspension aim data system a smarty cam system so you get video of every lap that you run electronic paddle shifter system instructors hi my name is Todd Snyder Phil Lombardi it's Ashley Freiberg uh, James Giacomo and they're pretty accomplished. Rolex 24 hours. Multi-time national go-kart champion. A super Trofeo Lamborghini. A Daytona 24 hour this year and the Sebring 12 hour where we finished second. Classroom. Yes, there is a lot of classroom instruction, but ultimately you've got to put those lessons to the test. And your test is right here at the controls of an open wheeled race car. And at the end of the test, you get feedback. If that right front is getting to the curbing before that cone, you have turned in early. You definitely have the speed. Yes, the speed sir. is there. You're comfortable with this car What's moving that? around. Just rein it back like turn a tenth again. of a yeah, yeah. percentage, you yeah. know what I mean? And the lap it's times will come down. The process repeats itself into day two, at which point something unexpected happens. It's funny when the lessons that you're taught in the classroom present themselves for real when you're out on the track. For example, they said during a simulated race start, as soon as the green comes out, you're racing. You might get caught up in the moment, forget to shift. What did I do? Forgot to shift, three guys passed me, and boom. Now I won't make that mistake again, or at least I hope. A camaraderie develops between you and your fellow students too, bouncing notes off one another as if we've been doing this for years. Uh -huh. Dude, turn one, did you lock up? Uh, three times. Yeah. Me too. A bunch of times. This is the point of school, is to make these mistakes here so you won't make them the hard way when you're in a real race. So, what can be improved? A proper lead follow to learn the racing line and the appropriate gear for each corner would be most helpful, rather than an explanation on where we should be while packed into a rental van. Maybe pretty heavy brake here. Trail in the brake. Trail it, trail it, trail it. But for two grand, three and a half hours of track time and all that came with it isn't bad. Which, of course, we'll be able to judge against other race schools as we get invited to them. What is bad, though, is the addiction that comes afterwards. These guys are crooks. They hook you in, and then you're done. 